The details of the spending plan last night and today Republicans reacting to that agreement, weighing in on the issue of housing. Capitol correspondent Jamie DeLine has the story. There's nothing in this proposal that will provide a single unit of affordable housing in the short term. Republican Senator Jack Martin says the tax incentives Democrats had agreed upon to spur housing projects only focuses on the future. By the time all these incentives kick in, developers build, whether it's in New York City or elsewhere, it'll be five, ten years down the line. The governor on Monday announced a tax incentive for builders to create affordable housing in New York City, as well as a statewide incentive for multifamily housing construction. Republicans reject the tentative agreement, saying the budget should do more to help first-time home buyers and protect homeowners from squatters. We'll still have support in the budget like we did last year for uh, first-time home, bu home buyers. I think that's something consistently that, uh, you know, Democrats in the legislature supported the governor agree with and that, you know that will continue. According to Assembly Speaker Carl Hasty, the housing issue still isn't closed, but it's closer to being done. I think it's just clarifying language on different items. Let's say, you know, some things on tenant protections uh, is just making sure that the intent of what you're hoping to do actually gets, uh, get, you know, gets carried out. Reporting in Albany, I'm Jamie DeLine. And it's day two of former President Donald Trump.